Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a tutorial on how to use Google Image Search and Teni to find the origin of images online. Uh, earlier today, I was on Reddit, and I came across an image, a bit of fan art, from a TV show called She-Ra, The Princess of Power. Watch it, it's a fantastic show. Uh, and I sent it over to my friend, and she said, this is a really cool image. Who is the artist? And I had no idea, because the post that I saw was a repost of a repost, and the, the attribution, the artist, actually got left off. Um, when this happens, or whenever you want to find the origins of an image that you see, there are a number of tools available to you, and I'm going to show you two today. Uh, one is Google Image Search, and one is Teni. Let's start with the, the simple one, Google Image Search. If I load up a browser and go to google.com, you'll get the ordinary image, uh, the ordinary text search engine uh, that most of us are familiar with. But Google also does image search. So if you click on the top right corner, uh, go to images, and click search by image, uh, you can either paste an image URL or upload an image. In this case, the image is on our desktop, so I'm just going to load it up and see what happens. So Google has some pretty sophisticated machine learning, and it sees that the image is a cartoon, and it says, hey, perhaps you are interested in the visual art genre of cartoon, uh, and gives a bunch of different uh, uh, images of cartoons. Uh, in this case, though, we're interested in the image itself, um, and we have the option to look at it in a variety of different sizes. Now, the image that I uploaded was 640, by 800. What we're going to do is try to find the largest version uh, possible of this image. Large images are more likely to be the original um, because images tend to only uh, downsize over time as people screenshot them or turn them into thumbnails or edit them in some way. Uh, so the highest resolution image is most likely to be the original uh, from which all the other images are made. Anyway, so when we click on the large image, we can see that about 17 hours ago, somebody posted this on Twitter. Great. Uh, we click on the status, and voila, we appear to have found the origins. Uh, Leslie O tweeted about 17 hours ago, one of my pieces for the She-Ra charity zine, hashtag we must be proud, happy Pride Month, y'all. Um, so this is one way to find the origin of images using Google Image Search. Fantastic. Another tool that we can use is called Teni. Uh, Teni, like Google, um, has some pretty powerful uh, image searching functionality. And people use Teni not only to find the origin of images, but to understand how images might have been doctored or altered, uh, because it can compare um, different versions of similar images and seeing which ones might have been edited or um, photoshopped in some way. Uh, and we're not going to talk so much about that today, we're just going to use the tool uh, for image search. So um, here's another example that we can look at. Um, say I came across uh, this image of Washington, D.C. Um, where we're looking at the White House and the street leading up to the White House uh, where the words Black Lives Matter have been written on uh, the ground. What, what is the origin of this image? How is it taken? Was it a drone? Was it an, uh, an airplane passing overhead? How did this image get taken? If we go to Teni, back to our browser, uh, we can use a very similar in, uh, interface to Google Images and click Upload. And we found 57 results uh, mirroring this image. And, you know, uh, we can filter by a number of uh, different ways. We can see how the image has changed the most. We can see the biggest image. In our case, we want to find the oldest image because the oldest image is most likely to be the original. Uh, and in this case, uh, we see again that the image first originated on Twitter. Let's see if we can get the context. All right, so it was posted by an organization called Planet. And uh, there's no context aside from the fact that they took the picture and posted it online. But if you load up the profile, you can see that Planet is a commercial satellite network uh, allowing people to get daily images of the ground. So they are basically 
posting the image uh, to showcase the their product, right? Um, and we can see that they posted this image on June 5th. So Planet is likely to be the origin of this uh, picture, which was taken through a satellite, which is pretty cool. Okay, so those are two different methods that you can use to reverse, um, to, to use image lookup. Um, you've got Google, which is uh, a search engine, and then you've got something called TinEye, which is a image-specific uh, lookup tool. Um, hope that is helpful, and good luck image searching.